If you want to get the most out of the content fries, it's the best to combine the content multiplier with the context editor. And now I will show you the context editor and you are not forced into any kind of content production workflow. How you will use content fries is entirely up to you. And let me show you one simple and straightforward use case that I do on a daily basis. What I'm doing is that I'm uploading a video every day to the context editor. Let me show you this on this two minute video. And uh, let's type in here some example and let the system generate the captions automatically for us. Let me go to the last step where I will apply the everyday English challenge template and let me show you what I'm doing every day. So I'm uploading this to Instagram and to TikTok, but I'm keeping the everyday English challenge video in under one minute so I can upload it to Instagram feed directly. And let me click the finish. And now this processing will be for a couple of seconds and then we will be redirected into the context editor. And this is how it looks like. As you can see, the sum example that I've typed uh, to the name field is right here. And I can definitely change it and do whatever with it, what I want. So let me make it maybe bigger and capitalize the letters. And uh, this headline right here, I'll just say 167 and uh, wh whatever right here. And as you can see, even before I have my captions ready, I can modify the visual and then just wait a few seconds to finish the captions pro generation process. Then I can uh, proofread my captions right here. The words that are probably not detected correctly are marked with red color. So I can read through my captions and modify and fix them. Once I'm done, I can save and export and do whatever I want and maybe make my captions slightly smaller. And uh, let's go to the TikTok context, but save before we do that. And now I will go to the TikTok. And as you can see, the template for TikTok look different. That's because I this template is a custom template that I've made and I customized the template for the TikTok long context. And I will show you later how you can do the same. But before I finish this, I will get rid of this black box because this video is not a portrait video. I usually upload portrait video to this template, but this is a landscape video, so it looks differently. So I will make some small modifications to fix it. And for example, add a background which will have some image or maybe even black color or whatever I want. Or maybe something like this. As you can see, the video has a shadow or I can add an image background so I can choose some kind of image. And this also looks pretty cool. So let me show you how it works. So let me just, uh, for example, choose this background right here. And as you can see, it's already applied and I will just move it to the right or I can do whatever I want. And this image has this white border at the bottom. So let me move it slightly also in the Y direction. And this black or white board is just a rectangle. I can get rid of it like this and maybe move this headline here and this one here, turn it into white color, make it slightly bigger, move this emoji here and I can play with it as I want and maybe add the captions underneath the video. And this is how you can play uh, and modify the video as you want. And it's pretty cool. So let me go back to the Instagram video, for example, and 
You can also apply the video background, which is kind of cool. So let me choose the background section in the layers and turn it into video mirror. And as you can see, the video will be now mirrored into background. As you can see, once I play it, this is static. This uh, top bar is static, so it's not very visible. But once I rewind the video to this point, for example, then you can see that what I have in the video mirror is the same thing that I have in the video. So this is how you can use also this feature to turn your video to a background mirror.